Hey, it's Pam Triolo, the food lady, and we are in the kitchen, in my kitchen to be exact, and I have with us a very special friend, Greg Rice. He's a, a local celebrity. Uh, you are on television all over the place. Well, uh, you know, I'm somewhere all the time, Pam. I, that's what I tell people. I'm probably uh, the best uh, known bug chaser in, in all of Florida. <laughs> For the Hewlett commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and then also, too, you're a motivational speaker, right. and you have various business interests. Well, you know, uh, I don't have any retirement skills, so I've got to keep working. Here. You're a renaissance man. Well, I, I, I hope so. Well, we've been talking about this for a while now, getting together and doing some cooking in the kitchen. I have been a fan of this lady doing this same thing for 20 years or longer or whatever. Um, it's been a long, long time. He's dating me. That's right. I, we used to shoot our commercials at the same place that used to shoot another show that she was doing. So that's how we first met, I think. Mm -hmm. And then over the years, you know, we just keep back crossing paths and all. Now we live in the same town, so, you know, that, that, it's gone for a circle. I know, it really has been, but you know what, that's why you, you, you keep out there, you make good friends, you meet good people, and you do good in this world, and that good comes back to you. And I understand we're gonna have a good uh, meal to share with the folks at home. That's right. the show. We're actually gonna be making shrimp scampi. With me on the show, it had to be shrimp. <laughs> I, that are short ribs. There you go, put a bum bum. So anyway, this is a super easy one. I like to do easy stuff for everybody at home because number one, I want them to go to all the restaurants on our show. And I know that they go out to eat a lot here in South Florida, but you know, once in a while you're gonna be home. And when you are, you don't wanna be, make a big mess. And it's summertime, it's hot, and you want something that's gonna cook really fast. So if you have to be in the kitchen, make it, make it short. Exactly. <laughs> you're killing me. All right, so we're gonna- I got a million of them. I'm sure you do. Okay, we've got about, Pound and a half to two pounds of some nice sized shrimp. And then also we've got a cup of uh, pinot grigio, a stick of butter. We've got some lemon. We've got some minced garlic. I like to use the organic minced garlic. There you go. And then we've got some crushed red pepper, some sea salt, some parsley, some pasta, and some pecorino romano. But you, now- you like, I, I like just how you pronounce pecorino romano. Pecorino romano, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It sounds so Italian. It does. I like to use it instead of Parmesan cheese, but you can use Parmesan cheese too, it's easy peasy. It's all on the stove, it's one at a time, one pot, that's it. One pot, one mess, throw it in the dishwasher, you're done. That's it. All right, Greg, what we're first gonna do is put a little olive oil on the pan. There you go, that looks nice. All right. And you gotta use a little butter too, it's scampi. Little butter. Little butter. What's the matter with a lot of butter? That's a half a stick, and if we want more after, we we'll add, add more after. later. <laughs> but we're gonna start with that, and we're gonna add our garlic. And like I said, Ooh, we're gonna make this kitchen smell really good. It does already. Really good. It does already. I'm gonna add, of this one's gonna add one, two, it's gonna be garlic. Yeah, well, you can never have enough garlic when you got shrimp scampi. When you're a triolo, no, you can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of in your blood. Right? It sort of is, yeah. And we're just gonna uh, cook this for a little while. We're gonna let this brown. You just wanna make sure you don't burn it because it can burn oh. really, really fast. And that'll make your whole dish bitter. So keep your eye on it. I'm gonna watch it for you. All right, you see that? My garlic is perfect. It hasn't it's burned. Beautiful. We're gonna add our white wine to the pan. Never enough white wine. Just Never enough. White garlic. Telling you, and I managed to save a little bit for us to have for dinner too. Well, <laughs> when, I, when I saw the bottle out there, I thought maybe this was for uh, uh, Hoda and Kathy Lee. That no, <laughs> no. Now, how much uh, crushed pepper do you use? Um, this is about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. Yeah. And the good thing about it, if you want a little more when it's on your plate, yeah, you can be more. Yeah, I don't like because some people are a little bit adverse to it, and I, I like it for just a little kick of heat. Well, I'm a big Emerald Lagasse fan, and Emerald says if there ain't no heat in it, there ain't no love in it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I gotta remember that. Can I steal that one from you? After what's it? Yeah. All right, I'll steal from both of you. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then when we do that, then we're gonna add in um, our shrimp. I don't know why they call these shrimp. These look like little lobsters. They are, I'm telling you. You know, it's funny that you should say that because actually scampi is actually a word for the actual creature. People think shrimp scampi like it's scampi style. Right. The actual shrimp itself is called scampi and it wasn't shrimp, it was langoustines. Oh, okay. And, and that's they what, are bigger shrimp. That's yeah. what they call scampi, but when we Americanized it, we called it shrimp scampi, which is kind of redundant, but it's uh, the American version of it and they use shrimp for it. So it's, I know this is, you know, uh, kind of a play on words, but you kind of do a shrimp recipe. I like the bigger shrimp, I, I really do. I do the, too. The jumbo shrimp, you know. 
Yep. Contradiction is terms, but still. <laughs> it is fun. No, we, uh, I like the two because you, you want to make a big impact too and with your pasta and everything else. You can kind of get lost if you use the little ones. Yeah. Now, the only thing you want to do here with the shrimp when they start to cook, you want to keep an eye on them too, just like the garlic, because you don't want them to get too cooked. And when they're too cooked, you'll start to see them curl up. Okay. We're going to leave this for about three minutes and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start flipping them over. Boy, they smell good. Wow. All right, these look like perfection. What do you think? Boy, they look yummy, Pam. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to add the lemon juice. There you go. Okay. Is that about a half a lemon or a whole lemon? I used, they were small lemons, so I used a lemon and a half. Right, well. But they was kind of small. But if you have a big one, one whole lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then the parsley. This is Italian flat leaf. I'm going to put that on there. All right, look at the color that brings to that dish. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Well, they say we eat with our eyes as well as our you know, mouths and stuff. Exactly. So what we're going to do then is we're going to get that pasta off the stove. I think we need to get it, pour it through the colander. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to put this all together, and we're going to have some great shrimp scampi. Coming up real soon, folks. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Very slurpy. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I, my mom raised me better. Look at you. You, you, got, you got parsley all over your I wear it well. <laughs> you do. But this is incredible. Thank you so much, sweetheart. What a dish. And we are having so much fun. This is something so easy, isn't it? I mean, you saw how quickly it came together. Quick, easy, just a few ingredients. You'll want to try this dish, folks. And it's so fresh. You can do this at home. I know you can. All right, we'll see you next time.